I'm not doubting what you're telling me, but the details are a little... I know, I know, but still... Under normal circumstances, I'd tell you to go to the local police, but I can tell that's not easy for someone so high profile. Anyway, the police won't take any serious action just because someone's been missing for a day or two. And again, I haven't been able to reach my nephew. It also concerns me that you hasn't contacted me at all when he knew we'd arrive today. Hmm. It's no good. Now that I think about it, Dojima-san is a detective too. He's part of the police, so he might not listen to such an outrageous story. I feel so frustrated, frustrated at my own powerlessness, for getting all worked up at nothing, and now I might have told the wrong person. I can't help but groan in frustration. Looks like there's a lot in this world that I just don't understand. Do you have any leads? Huh? I'm asking if you have any leads I can work off to investigate this. I can't help you if we have nothing to go on. Oh, you mean clues, right? Um... Dear Lord, I was so desperate to have him believe me about what happened to them that I didn't even think about what happens next. I gotta stop relying on other people for everything. Come on, I need to remember something that might be a clue. video plays at midnight on the Love Meets Bonds Festival website. They say if you watch it, you never wake up again. A video? Huh. That guy from before was yelling something about a video. Yeah, he said that he was afraid of getting killed by a dead idol. How in the world would a dead person kill anyone? Well, anyway, I'll look around here and see what I can turn up. At least until I hear from you. But if they really have gone missing, I'll file a report with the police. And I'm sorry, but if it comes to that, we'll need to take your statement. Of course! I'll do anything to help out! Uh, well then, uh... I reach towards my, my pocketbook on the desk. I'm a little scatterbrained, so I make a habit of writing down important stuff in my favorite pocketbook. That's why I was going to look at it, but then I actually remembered my schedule for tomorrow. Alright, go me! That's right! I'm free in the morning tomorrow, so I just have to help look into this! Then I'll just have to help look too. Hearing Nanako-chan agree with me, I crouch down a little to give her a high five. I feel bad for Dojima-san since he's here on vacation, but I'm so relieved to have someone so reliable giving me a hand. I gotta do my best to help him out tomorrow. Sheesh, I'm treating this like some kid's game. Anyway, that kid better not be sticking his head into any nasty business again. Too late. <laughs> After I said goodbye to Dojima-san and Nanako-chan, Inoue-san drove me home, and I did some quick shopping at a nearby store. I had to deal with a lot of stuff today, but both normal and weird, but I'm finally back in my safe haven, my comfy old home. I'm back! Although, there's no one to greet here. <laughs> It'd actually be a big problem if there was someone else here. Oh, my pea sprout friends are growing nicely. <laughs> I bet they'll be ready to harvest again soon. I watered the good old daikon radishes just yesterday, so they're still good to go. <sighs> I'm pooped. Too much going on lately. But I got Dojima-san's number, and I've reviewed my schedule for tomorrow, so... Yep, I'm all set. Sumamine, Tomamine, Tomamine, Nosamine. I wonder if they're all okay. I wish I'd gotten to know you all better. Where did you go? It's true. We belong to the same agency and the same group. But since I'm so busy, I don't get many chances to I didn't get many chances to open up to them. I mean, when I had time, I listened to everyone's problems and they'd tell me tons of stuff too. It's not like I didn't try to become friends with them. Still, after seeing true friends like you saw in his group, I wonder if I had really made an effort with my friendships and my confidence drained away. Nope, nope. I've got no time to be bummed out about this. Let's see what's up online. Ah, uh, let's try video, idol, and I guess curse too. Holy moly, it's got this many hits? Damn. Huh? Wait a minute. I knew it. A bunch of these are specifically about the festival. Ah! Poor head's hurting. 
Maybe I caught a cold. Ugh, I'm so tired now that I'm back home. Was I asleep? Sorry, Mizu Chimizu. Um. I wake up to music playing from the computer in front of me and try to remember what I was doing. My head is all fuzzy. Oh yeah, I was gonna check about that rumor and I fell asleep. Huh? Isn't this music? This is the LMB website. Did I open this? Is this the gross cutscene? It might be the gross cutscene. Fish Island. Nah, there's no way. I just have to take a bath and go to bed. Ugh. Good plus. Welcome to unnecessary shower scenes. Cause this was totally needed. Gotta wake up super early. So I just have to get my beauty sleep. What do I do tomorrow? Maybe I have to take all the garbage out. Ginger was on sale today. Gonna make tasty macaroni. Boo. Dead idols. <laughs> Dead idols here scare you. No cell phones or food or smokes or garbage in the library. The next day, I contacted Dojima-san and met up with him and his daughter at a library near my home. Luckily, my place isn't too far from the arena where LMB Fest will be held, so this library is pretty close to where Dojima-san and Nanako are staying. Oh, I can't take any more. My brain's going to explode if I jam any more words in there. What's this? You've barely gotten through half your share. You're the one that asked me for help, you know. I know. But why are we at a library? I thought since you're a detective, that we'd do stuff like follow suspects and go on stakeouts. And who would we follow? Where would we stake out? I haven't even confirmed yet that what you told me is true. Though I admit, I still haven't gotten any word from the kids. But at their age, not being around for a day doesn't mean I can declare that they've gone missing. Huh? Oops, sorry. So you don't believe me, Dojima-san? But I'm honestly telling the truth. Seeing doubt from my rescuer, I can't help but stand up and protest. I thought he believed me. I know I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library, but I still can't back down from this. I know, so sit back down. I don't doubt that you saw what you told me you did. I said so yesterday. But in my experience, cases like these tend to have a trick behind them that makes people see what isn't so. A trick? Right. That's why things might have happened just the way you described them. But your account alone doesn't prove whether this incident is supernatural or not. Then again... Some things in this world just can't be explained. With that, Dojima-san glances towards Nanako. Hmm? Has he been through something with Nanako-chan that can't be explained? I'm pretty curious, but I try and steer the conversation back on topic. Hmm. There are computers over there, though. Wouldn't it be faster to just search the internet than deal with an avalanche of paper? Just leave that to the professionals. I've asked an acquaintance of mine to look into that a bit. Someone in the police department? Wow, you really are a police detective, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. He's doing it as a personal favor. And he's already found some fishy business. In involving some fish. Hearing Dojima-san say, fishy, I sneak a sniff of my own wrist. <laughs> Weird, I was tired just today, but I made sure to get a bath before I just had to go to bed. Fishy? No, not you. But let's leave that aside for now. <laughs> The thing is, information you find on the internet is like a bunch of unwanted gifts from heaven knows who. It's true. It's true. It's very true. Unless we have a good handle on what's right or wrong, 
we can't get what we need from it. So it's faster in the end to just find the information you need on your own. Ah, huh. is that how it is? Weren't you going to do anything to help out? Of course. I have to do everything I can. At Dojima-san's words, I pull myself together and dive back into the storm of text in front of me. You saw the others are in trouble. After all, if I don't do this, who will? Can I ask you something, Mashta? You just met you and his friends, right? Why are you going out on a limb for them? They called me a friend. I've been an oddball ever since I was young. I rarely had friends. I went into showbiz because I looked up to this certain lady, and I've been lucky enough to make it a career. But even now, I don't know how to be friends with the other members of my group. So, that's why it made me real happy for those guys to call me their friend. I see. Well, tagging along like this is fine, but all you can help out with is digging up information. Refrain from doing things on your own or making careless actions. Don't go about sticking your head in any deeper than necessary. Understood? Yes, I'll do it. I'll help out. I'll help too. Is that so? Then we just have to investigate this together. I just have to investigate. Yay! <laughs> Give me a break. Well, anyway, let's keep looking around. You start looking through those gossip magazines and find any articles that might be related to this case. A troubled look appeared on Dojima-san's face while Nanakon, na, Nanakon? Nanako chan smiles. I'm so happy. Yusan's group called me their friend, and even though my story makes no sense, Dojima-san is still helping me. A warmth fills my heart, a feeling like I'm not alone in this. What about me? Should I look through gossip too? Um, this one with a lady in a swimsuit on it? <laughs> Nanako, no. Uh, no, no, you, you don't need to read that. You should, uh... You'll be our supervisor, Nanako-chan. This stack is the ones we've already read, and these are the ones we haven't looked through yet. You just hand them to me and your dad from the right stack so we know which one to go through next. Okay, I can do that. Thank you. Sorry for saddling you with her, too. Oh, not at all. Now, time to start investigating. Let's see. Articles that might be related to this. Let's see the top ten hard, the top ten hottest idols, the rise of cyber terrorism, the hidden danger of eels, hidden danger of eels. Eels, huh? That sounds good. I love the taste of eel on its own, but it's that sweet sauce that makes them to die for. Huh? Eels from foreign countries are farmed in scuzzy rivers like these? No, this definitely isn't it. It has nothing to do with what's going on. All right. Uh. What about the rise of cyber terrorism? <laughs> cyber terrorism? Like computer viruses and things? Wait a second. Viewers of a music festival site have fallen into comas. No. Oh. Is it a curse? Or is this what doctors are calling mass lethargy syndrome? Dojima san! Mass lethargy syndrome. That's a phrase I hadn't expected to come up here. Do you know something about it? It's exactly that fishy business I mentioned earlier. These fish are infecting people with mass lethargies. I met with my local contact this morning and this same topic came up. We didn't talk about the victim's current state, but the way this article talks, it sounds like it's claimed a number of people. This might be worth looking into. I'll see what I can find. That would be great. Thank you. Now we're not going to know who the top hottest idols are. I think I was helpful. Feeling a little proud, I happened to look at the clock on the wall and panic. What the? I hadn't noticed, but it's already past noon. Wait a sec. 